Hello again, it's Comics again, and this time I want to show you how to create a 100 page Bristol board comic template or comic master using Affinity Publisher. Now Bristol boards, as you can see from many of the things online, they're the standard board format used to create comics. Now what are they? Let's go into the details straight up. What we have here is the master page of the Affinity Publisher. I won't show you how to set it up because I'm assuming, I guess, that you already know basically how to set these things up. I've got it in inches. The DPI is 300. 300 minimum. A lot of comics use 400 and above. And the bleed in this case I've set as 0.125 inches all the way around. Now, you can't see the bleed line there. Oh, it's very faint because this is the master page and it's it defaults to blue for some reason. And there it is just there, running along the edge. Now, ledger size, 11 by 17 standard US comic size, Bristol board, is a standard size, 11 by 17. So in reality, you don't need the bleed. The bleed is a part of the size. It's a standard size. You can a printer can print on an 11 by 17 sheet. Everything is within the boundaries of the standard bristle board, so the bleed lines are a part of the overall size. That is to say, from bleed edge to bleed edge is 11 by 17. Just about everything you produce as a comic will be reduced in size, so it's easy to work in this size. Now the bleed is 0.125 inches on all sides. So set your master size as you need to make your size accommodate that. Let's have a look at the spread. 10.5 by 16.25 is the size. Now out there is an extra point 0.125, same as at the top. So that makes up to 11 by 17. Okay? Each sheet will be printed as a separate page. So for a total of 11 by 17, that's 0 0.125 by 2. Two fives are 10, two twos are 4 and 1 is 5, two ones are 2. 0 0.250 plus 10.75 equals 11 inches. And vertically, that's 0 0.125 by 2, 16.75, 17. In short, the full size of the sheet of ledger paper is 11 by 17, including bleed. Let's have a look at page 1. I'll just double click on that. Now there's page 1. And you can see I've got the, the bleed set as red, and it's right out the edge there. With just a rectangle in the middle. The spread set up. Dimensions 10.75 by 16.75, which is what I was just talking about. Okay, let's go back to that. So the full sheet of the paper is that size. Now you can see on the right hand side here, I've got the 11 by 17. There's a comic page embedded in it, behind it, and it goes right out to the edge of the bleed. Now when that goes to the printer, that will not be cut, trimmed off at the bleed. That's not the trim lines. When it's when it goes to the printer and it's reduced to standard size, 6.625 by 10 by 10.1875. Okay, now there we go. That's the reduced size image. Let's get rid of both of them and continue on. The margins are set to 0.246 on all pages. This keeps the panel borders aligned and still allows you to overprint right out to the full bleed. Remember, um, remembering, of course, that everything from the margin to the bleed can be lost in the trim if your paper needs to be trimmed. However, as I mentioned before, ledger size is a standard size, so your print doesn't need to take bleed into account. Now you'll find this uh, Affinity Publisher file available for download on my website. I don't know if I mentioned that already. 
So if you want to just use it straight off, there it is. Now some more notes. Don't print these master pages of course. Don't apply them to your document, you'll totally wreck everything. They're just notes. Now I got these notes, or the bottom half of them, from Blambot. Excellent location. Very good information. Now this is the result of a PDF. I printed out, exported as a PDF page one. And you can see it exports as 27.94 by 43.18 centimeters, which is 11 by 17. So it produces a full white sheet that you can do your drawings on, your comic drawings, and that's the idea. Now you've got a safe area, a trim line, and a full bleed, and they're demonstrated most neatly in the following. These measurements are from Blambot, the last word in comic production. Fabulous resources, and that's their address. Now there's your full-size Bristol board, with your measurements right from the edge, coming in to there. Trim line, safe area, and edge. The full bleed is from there to there, and so on. That's easy enough to work out if you have a good look at that. Now, we'll go to there. So having said all that, you, you should note that modern comics can vary in size wildly. KDP comics are different again, but they're made for ebooks only, so probably none of this applies. But what you can do, of course, and this is what this is for, is to print those out as separate sheets. And there's the Comic Master itself with nothing on it. That's the one that's applied to all those pages. Now that one there, that one there, this one has in the background, that's what it's reduced to. And that's the full size master. Now you can see if this was normally trimmed around that bleed line it would trim that top off. But you're not worried about that. You can go right out to the edge of the bleed because you're, you're going to reduce it down to that size. That's your eventual reduction. Now what I don't have on this page are the apart from guides here. You see that guide there and that guide there and the two horizontal guides. Let me get that out of the way. They are the guides that account for that diagram, that, that image, the final finished image. Now I haven't put them in as margins or bleed lines or anything like that because I'll leave that up to you. When it's reduced for size for production, do your artwork in there then you can fit it into that size. This is your trim size, remember. On the ledger size paper, this is your trim size. On your finished work, this is your trim size. Now I know that's not straightforward, but for the time being, until you get used to it, it is. Now there's page one, page two, Page 3, page 4, slightly different, page 5, different again, page 6, and so on. As we scroll right down, we can go down through, there's a hundred pages here, and every one of them has the panels in it. Now, if you reduce those panels down to the size of your comic, then they'll all fit in. But make sure all of those panels are within the trim of your comic. You don't want it being trimmed off halfway across there. So these all fit into the safe area. Anything that's on your ledger paper, from there to there, should fit in the, in the trim area of your comic. Now let's go right down and finishes at the last page, page 100. 
That's the last page of the comic. Now, as always with a comic like this or a book like this, that page is one big panel because that in fact is, you might say, let me see if I can find it up here. That's your full comic page. In fact, I might be able to copy that, put it into here, and there it is. You can see that right out to the bleed. And that's how it's supposed to be. Because if you print this out, export it, file, export all pages, include bleed. So your printed page will print right up to the edge. Now obviously I can't show you that happening on the printer because you can't see my printer. But take it from me, that's what happens. If you don't include the bleed, it will trim it off there. So the top of the giant 52 page size by no less will be trimmed off. Make sure you include the bleed. PDF for print, include the bleed. What's that, page one? All pages, current page. Let's do page one and I'll export that and we'll call it up and have a look at it. There it goes, export, just save it to downloads. There's one in there already, let's replace it because the original one I printed did not have the comic in it. Now, let's go to, now oh, that's doing something, albeit fairly slowly. And it should come up, inspector, no document. It's being very slow this morning, isn't it? Now there it is, there's our preview, because I've got not only thing, but preview. And you can see it's printed it right up to the edge with that border in there. Now obviously you wouldn't want that border on the front page of your comic, would you? Let's just highlight that. If you've got that layer one rectangle, you just hide it. Because your margins, which are still there, your margins don't print. So as with any of these, You can hide those um, comic panels. Now, where was preview? That was preview. There it is there. Let's just close that. We'll go to downloads. Find a downloads comic page template. Um, there's the zip file that will be up on my website shortly. And we're waiting for the date added. Why is it not printing? That's that's the there we go. There's the one that we just did. 27.94 by 43.18, you can see from edge to edge. Let's reduce that in size, so it's a bit easier to see. There we go. That's your full comic page. Now, I've left that border in there, and I just explained that. You take that out by hiding it. So all it is is a rectangle, so you just hide that, and it's gone. And you can see there the comic is right out to the bleed line. Let's export it. Export, include bleed, all pages, no, just the current page. Export, it goes to that in the downloads folder. Replace the one that's there. This one won't have the margin showing in it. And there it is there. My thanks to the owners of the American Comic Group for the use of that page in this demonstration. Turn those back on and that's ready to go. And that's all there is to it. Very short, 
very sweet. Page one. Comic page setup. Spread setup 10.75 by 16 point whatever. And if you hover over there, Comic Page Master. There's the Comic Page Master there. These masters are different, slightly different sizes, so don't get confused by those ones. This is the one that generates the pages. Okay, thanks for watching.